All right, we're back here with another league match for Warhammer 40K. So today we have um, Dark Angels pre-nerf rules. So we're not changing the rules uh, from the new data slate until next week when we go to 2,000 points. So pre-nerf Dark Angels versus Orcs. I've not played against Orcs at all this, I don't think actually ever in a competitive environment, but first time this edition for ninth, at the end of the edition, of course. So yeah, we're, we're gonna be playing, I believe Death and Zeal is our mission. So in this mission, the objectives are sticky. So if you have objective secured, um, you control it even if you leave the point. For me, I have two units of the incursors. They can forward deploy, so that'll help me out. And then Chris here has some truck boys that have it, I believe. And uh, then what else you got? Uh, yeah, Chris? And these snagger boys that have it as well. Cool. Um, just more blank plastic. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you uh, have anything cool about your armor you wanna go over? Um, yeah, so uh, we've got uh, multiple characters. Um, we've got the Beast Boss and the Squigasaur is mm -hmm. uh, particularly tanky. Check these ones out. Nice. Um, let's see here. We've got, uh, you know, toughness seven, um, nine wounds, so we can be lookout, surd, uh, minus one uh, to wound, reduces incoming damage by one. Um, and uh, has a innate uh, five up invuln and a five up feel no pain. Nice. Uh, so he should last a while, hopefully. On the opposite side of the spectrum, we have the very squishy but fast uh, uh, bike boss um, who uh, is you know, very, very killy. Um, he, uh, you know, we've got, let's see here, uh, on the wall, we've got six attacks um, at strength of like 14 plus. AP four damage three and anything that doesn't uh, wound uh, ends up getting re-rolled as a new attack at the end of the cycle. Nice, cool. Uh, we got the kill rig, which is a character vehicle psyker um, and uh, can uh, pump out some mortals if he doesn't immediately get blown off the table in the first uh, round, which he does a lot, um, as well as about the only shooting that orcs actually have. We've got a truck that's gonna have some truck boys in it. The truck boys can uh, move and, uh, well, it can disembark and move and charge in the law, oh. um, giving them a lot of range. And the, the truck can still move and they can still disembark and move after. Exactly. So um, that's but the, always good. But the truck boys are not goths, so they don't get the exploding sixes in or um, any, you know, uh, they, they lose a little bit of strength also. Nice. Um, we got the Death Dread with four claws. It's going to be a melee monster and is going to be uh, sitting point. in uh, a strategic reserve off the get go because he is very slow. I like the model, but he is very slow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. And we do have uh, one squad of, uh, a minimum squad of commandos that is... sneaky boys. Exactly. So we'll, uh, that'll be coming in early, probably to play around with your incursors. So we've got a bunch of Storm yes. Boys, Gretchen, and some uh, 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 squig, squig Riders over here um, nice. that are, you know, just your basic cavalry. Nice. Cool. All right. For my stuff... Mine's not all set out and display all fancy like yet, because I'm lazy. <laughs> but if you guys saw my list before, you know what we got. We're not playing all those, just 10 Terminators. I'm gonna have two units of incursors, uh, minimum squad size. And then we have our good old Desolation Marines. No line of sight shooting, which we'll probably need to take out some of the weaker guys. But I'm kind of scared of that kill rig, because I don't think I have, I do have a lot of anti-tank, but I do not want to reveal my squishy boys that can easily die to even weak shooting. So this will be a fun match. We'll get to deployments. All right, deployment is done. So we kind of just hit our Desolation Marines here, not touching the ruins, to just take that point to start off. Uh, we got our Death Ball here. Uh, everyone's surrounding as a meat shield for the characters, so they don't just get alpha if I lose the roll off. We forward deployed here, and we forward deployed there with our other incursors. And then we just got orcs everywhere. We got cat. We he, uh, he got first deployed. He got these guys uh, ready to charge. So if they if I don't get turn one, they're just gonna get murdered. And very aggressive deployment. So if he gets turn one, they're gonna be right in my face. So we are gonna go to roll off. Ready? Roll here. I got a six. One. So I will go first. You have to go first. Oh, and our secondaries we chose. 
I did Codex Warfare pre-nerf, so uh, kill something with heavy in Devastator, we get a point. Elsa Moments, uh, can't fall back, kill something with a Space Marine, which is my whole army. Um, what else was it? Destroy a vehicle, which we got a few. And we have War Ritual, behind enemy lines for him, assassination, and get the good bits. He has to do an action on a point. All right, we'll get to turn one. All right, so we are done with psychic phase. I'm kind of just going over command, movement, and psychic in one because they're quick. Command phase, uh, Terminator's got the relic for the minus one damage reduction. They got the plus one to hit from the banner ancient. Um, and then Azrael put the reroll to hits, full rerolls to hits on the 10 man squad of Desolation Marines. By the way, this terrain we're just using as uh, ruins because uh, the other ones are in use. So uh, we're just putting them on the rooftop to show that they're inside. So ruins and just in, in uh, impassable on these like containers. And forests, of course. Okay, so that was it. Movement, everyone just kind of moved up. I just moved the terminators up five inches. Everyone else moved six, so they just uh, edged up. We kind of just wrapped the characters with the meat bag uh, shields. These guys just kind of inched back a little bit. I couldn't move and shoot at the commandos, so I felt like it wasn't worth it. Um, same thing over there, they kind of just reformed and hit a little bit more. The Desolation Marines moved six inches this way so I could shoot their big rockets at the kill rig and we'll see what the smack bag does. I still don't know if it's better to just hide your Desolation Marines and use indirect shooting, but we will see if I get punished for revealing them to get shot at. All right, so this is the end of shooting phase. So the Desolation Marines here and the fi other five-man squad here shot the kill rig. Uh, we were able to knock it out. The 10-man block shot their uh, crack missiles into the truck and knocked that out there. And then with all the non-line-of-sight shooting, but I, not suffering the minus one to hit really helped out um, because they moved into the ruins. They are able to shoot, and their, their full rerolls to hit helped out a lot too. So we were able to knock out the rocket boys here in the front. Or, they're still in Novelai. And the rocket squad in the back were uh, knocked out as well. So that is it for the uh, turn one of shooting. No charges, of course. And we're gonna go to turn bottom of turn one. Little change to the secondaries. I cannot take Codex Warfare and Oaths. Um, so I just switched it to banners and we'll suffer not scoring it for until battle round three. All right, so with all of my fast moving stuff uh, dead, um, we kind of just uh, had to move up to try and take sides. Um, we've got a uh, long charge on the bike boss over there, which I really need to land. Um, we should at least be able to take two side points for the time being, um, but in the middle, the death ball is gonna be a problem. We've got Zagstruck, who came out of the truck right there, um, who should also get into some desolation uh, Marines, but we will see. All right, just kind of combine shooting and uh, charges because uh, shooting wasn't a lot. The squig hogs charged in over here, or moved up here, and they shot, uh, I think they killed one uh, model here. Or no, they killed, yeah, you just get, one. You, one of them got got by the haywire mine yeah. and then rolling a three over on the other side. Same thing yeah. happened. Oh yeah, oh yeah, over here, the, these squig hogs charged in and then they did their haywire mine to, uh, to kill one of them. We rolled a three on both mines, of course. And then uh, Zagtrust charged in here. Uh, sorry, uh, the shooting was just there. I believe that was it, that, that did something. So for charges, the squig hogs charged in there. We did the haywire mine I told you about, killed one. Um, they killed another one on the charge. They smacked back and killed the lone one left. Uh, over here, these squig hogs charged in and the commandos did also. They killed four of them and just the sergeant survived who, uh, yeah, I don't think we did anything. The attack back did nothing. Um, over here, Zag Trusk, uh, charged in, killed uh, four of the five-man squad, just the sergeant survived, and I'm debating on if I should lose my secondary point for falling back or not. But yeah, so that is the bottom of turn one. Going into top of two. All right, so top of battle round two. So uh, we just gave up our secondary and fell back. We fell back here with the one guy, with Zag Trusk. I kind of misplayed. I think I should have just fallen him back over into this corner. So end of movement, I could have brought back a guy with my apothecary, but oh well. Um, and then I fell back here with this lone guy there. That squad, I 
was thinking about chasing after the Gretchen, but I decided to just hide a little bit behind that little container and do raised banners. This squad here um, moved forward to get one guy on the point and they also raised banners. I'm planning on shooting with them by doing the stratagem to do an action and not fail and still shoot. Um, over here, everyone, uh, the Terminator blob just moved up five inches. Everyone else moved six, so they just inched up until they could. Um, Ezekiel did his secondary warp ritual. We got it off on a, uh, what was it, eight, which was a nine. So that is our first of three. And that's it, we're gonna go to shooting and see what we can take out. All right, so shooting phase is over. This desolation squad just overkilled Zag Trusk here, took him out. Um, over here, the 10-man squad split fire. We tossed all of our big shots into the, uh, the riders here, took them out. All of their small shots, we rolled for 24, it was an auto 24 on the, on the lesser guys. And I gave the plus one on a other regular guy for, the, just to, for their ballistic skill. We were still unable to kill the 10-man squad. One lone ranger left alive. Uh, the Terminators dumped their four rockets also into them and they missed. So uh, that's it for shooting. We're going to charges. I think we're gonna charge the Terminators into the orcs to just try to peel off some damage. All right, so this is charge phase. I'm gonna kind of split it up to just show who charged where. So I just decided to charge everything in the center up as a pseudo movement because the Terminators move so slow. I decided they should just use it their charges move them faster than their movement. So they got up, everything else charged in. I charged the Desolation Marines in to kind of, I just figured I'm gonna get charged next turn, so I might as well charge first and try to get as much chip damage in with their little punches before they get smacked back. And that's it, everything else fell back or decided not to move. So they are hanging out where they are. We'll go to combat. All right, so uh, charge phase is done, so, or combat, I should say. So, Terminators went in. I did Fear of the First, plus one to hit. Uh, we did the plus one to strength and six's auto wound. So we just killed that unit of, uh, was that just boys in the middle? Yep. Truck boys, and took out some Gretchen, dealt some wounds here. I think I, I kind of mess read the bodyguard mechanic, so I kind of split some into attacking the Gretchen. I should have just made them all kill the hero. Oh well. Um, yeah, we lost a Terminator on the smackback, but it's all good. They dealt six mortal wounds, or five mortal wounds, or sorry, six, and I uh, got one back from Feel No Pain, so five went through, killed one, one guy's with one wound left. Um, Azrael finished the last truck boy off in combat, or not Azrael, Ezekiel. And then the Desolation Marines are not in combat because there's the thing they charged is dead. So that is combat going to the bottom of round two. All right, so bottom of uh, round two movement. So uh, Warlord kind of just hung out there with the Gretchen. These Gretchen came up to try to catch the Desolation Marines in combat so I can't shoot anything on my turn. Um, these commandos are coming in to finish off this lone survivor sergeant. They want that blood. These Gretchen are just hiding on the point so he can take it on his next command phase. And end of movement phase, we had this little death dread come in from the side flank uh, for that nine inch charge and start chopping up those survivors with his four arms. So we're gonna go to charge phase and combat. One thing to add, these uh, Gretchen are also doing their action for get in the good bits. So he'll score that. It auto completes the end of his turn for Gretchen. All right, so just a little change of uh, movement. We decided to let the Gretchen uh, fall back here and the Warlord fall back. Because if he left him in there and I, if he killed one Terminator, which would happen because there's only one guy at the wound, there's a chance on a four up they could attack on death and the Sunder Hammers deal three damage. So only need, one needs to go through to kill him. So yeah, better to fall back and just stay hidden behind cover. Um, oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just realizing that putting him on the point is actually counterproductive because it's just going to give you free movement onto the point. Do you mind if I swing him over this? Yeah, way yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. we're gonna we're gonna change movement. Oh man. Yeah. If you guys play in like a league or a, like a casual match, I feel like you should always let someone change stuff to play at the best of the ability. Because uh, both players would learn from it. If you're like a guy who's like, ugh, you already moved it too late. That's like, 
not very good gamership, I guess, is the word. <laughs> so yeah, so all right, so that is- I appreciate the, it. Yeah, no worries. So that is the, uh, the movement, um, shooting uh, the biker boss shot and didn't do anything to the Terminator, so that was it for shooting. And then we're gonna go to charges. So we'll see if the Def Jet just murders those three guys. All right, so that was uh, end of charge phase, start of combat. So charges, um, the spike boss charged into the apothecary outside of an inch from the Terminators. I did not heroic intervene because I felt like it wouldn't matter. I don't want this guy with one life to get wrecked and Azrael might die. Um, I don't know, I'll, I felt like it wasn't worth it. So let me know if I should have charged them all and try to kill him on his turn. Um, over here, that guy charged in, uh, did, did you do more? Oh, dealt one, one mortal roll. wound. Mm -hmm. uh, on a two up, he, he rolled D3, got one. So one guy got one life. Over here, the Gresham charged in. I did the stratagem for a five up overwatch. They still have full rerolls from Azrael's ability until my next command phase. So we were able to wipe them with just the Castellan launchers. But even if those failed, we still had the Vengor launcher and all the rockets. So yeah, that is, I think Azrael, I was wondering if Azrael was worth it just for that reroll ability. He might be worth it at 170 points. All right, so we're gonna go to combat. Let's see if this Terminator can survive. He's at full health, four up interval, two up regular save. Let's go. All right, so combat is done. So over here, this uh, biker boss totally killed that Terminator apothecary, piled into the banner, made sure not to be within an inch of anyone else so they could just smack him back. I tried to do my four attacks into him and of course did nothing. Uh, over here, the uh, kill rate or death dread, um, he killed two guys. One guy is left alive on the points. Um, luckily, I don't have to take combat attrition because they're dark angels, so that's good. Over here, I just pulled him because there's no way he would survive a full charged attack of commandos, so he is definitely dead, and they piled in three inches, or consolidated three inches closer to the closest enemy units. Um, but this is actually kind of cool, because they're actually behind the forest, which will give them minus one to hit. So that's good. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go to the top of round three, see if we can score some points. All right, so this is movement phase over here. So this squad moved up, the five-man squad. This lone guy moved up too. So the uh, plan is, I'm gonna, even with a minus one, uh, they. So my rationale was they would get minus one anyway if I were to shoot out of line of sight. So they're not really taking a penalty because I was expecting that anyway. So they're going there. The smart play, I guess I should have left that guy there because I would have got a plus one to hit, but whatever. So minus one to hit for them when they shoot these commandos. Um, these guys, Terminators move five to surround this biker boss and smack him. Um, actions. Uh, Azrael did raise banners, so uh, no charges for him. So he raised banners. Ezekiel, uh, I already rolled for Psychic Phase, so he got his Warp Ritual off. So that's tally two out of three that I need for full points. These guys, they kind of just moved up to prepare to charge if needed into any of these that survive, and if not, then they'll just hang back and chill. This guy fell back and is running away from that, that little kill rig, Death Dread. And these Gretchen are safe, because I'm not gonna aim at them. <laughs> so let's go to shooting and see what we can take out. All right, shooting phase here. So uh, this lone sergeant was able, because he has a, the Vanguard launcher and the Castellan launcher. He launched all those shots into these guys uh, that were here, the commandos, took them out. Over here, this five-man squad just shot all their non-line of sight shots into the Gretchen. And we were able to take out three of them <laughs> with our minus one to hits, uh, negative. And over here, they dumped all their uh, small shots into the Gretchen that were here, took them out. <laughs> and then the rockets all went into the Warlord, which we were able to knock out. Missiles went into the uh, War Boss, and we left him with one health. And that Death Dread still hanging out there. He'll probably kill that guy. And that is it for shooting, going into charges. And then that's it for charges. We just needed a one inch charge on the Terminators, and they're in. I feel like there should be a minimum range of three inches like AOS, so even if you're one inch away, you could still fail, but whatever. Um, Terminators are in, everyone else is just hanging out because they fell back. Action, warp ritual. Which I guess you could still charge, right? Because warp ritual is just a sight, it happens right away. But I'm not gonna charge. I'm, I'm pretty sure all these Terminators should handle him. All right, go to combat. All right, into combat here. So we charged into the Terminators. They killed the biker boss. And then he attacked on death and did the brutal but cunning to attack on all the ones that missed. 
and he was able to kill two and wound one Terminator, and that was it. Thank God I did not charge Ezekiel in. He would have got. <laughs> he definitely would have got smacked. So we're gonna go to the bottom of three. So um, yeah, we scored all. We haven't even tallied scoring yet, but we will do it at the end of the round. All right, that was a quick bottom of turn three. So uh, these surviving Gretchen, they did the. What is it called? Get, Get the, good the Good Bits. Again, for four points. So he is at eight points total on that. The Death Dread just smacked the uh, surviving guy away and took my banner off and claimed the point. So he was able to claim the uh, control a point you did not control and kill something within range of a objective. So he got three bonus points there. Uh, but yeah, and then he scored eight for hold one and ho or hold two. So eight points primary. And that was bottom of two, going into uh, top of four for my turn. All right, so we kind of just topped it out the rest of the match. So these Desolation Marines would have killed the kill rank here for a kill on the point. They would have moved six up, and then following turn, moved on to the point to do banners. Uh, this Ancient moved up, and then on turn five, would have moved up and done banners there. And then same thing over here, they moved up. Fifth turn, would have moved on point, done banners. So we would have ended the game with banners on all five points. Um, these Desolation Marines would have killed the Gretchen that were over here, so we would have wiped the board. That's it. So, was not bad. Here's the points. We just have to tally them all up. But it was a pretty good game. I think going first would really help me out a lot. Do you, uh, what would you have done differently in the match that you said you were talking, you were thinking about? So, realistically, I should have played harder to the flanks. Um, I, you know, Obviously, putting stuff into the death ball is a terrible idea. I think that I baited myself by taking assassination into wanting to try and carve into you know the uh, desolator means in the back line. But uh, given the fact that he uh, went first, he killed both my vehicles and all of my storm boys. A lot of my mobility was really stripped away. I should have adapted to that by just pushing off to either side and hopefully trying to flank hard around because. You know, the Death Blob is obviously not very mobile. Instead, I ended up kind of just throwing a bunch of free points away in the middle, um, contesting something that I was never going to have a chance to take. So, first time playing against uh, uh, DA, and uh, this was, it was a lot of learnable experiences, but I had a good time, so. Yeah, me too. First time playing against them, like I said, this edition. But yeah, I think, for me, I think the Dark Angels... Um, I think mean, I got a little cocky because I kind of just gave my apothecary away. So if I wanted to play safer, I, I mean, if I wanted to play smarter, I would have played safer and towed them like more this way and blocked off uh, access to them by making like a line of the terminators here. But oh well, good to, good thing to learn. <laughs> Luckily, Ezekiel barely survived with one because I need him. I probably should. I need to learn to play safer with him because he's the only way to score my secondary. If he killed him, I would not score on that points. Um, <coughs> other than that, I think the nerf to Dark Angels for me wouldn't be too bad because I don't play a lot of Terminators. But yeah, good game. And hopefully we play again in 2000.